gentlemen, welcome back to The Bearded Journey. I am your host, Scott Barnes, and in today's video, the certain topic that I wanna go over is going to be the length and the lay of your beard. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm going Dan C style. I'm wearing my new office hat. I got me a new job, and if you guys can stay a little longer after the video, I'll dive a little bit into that, kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on in my life. Now, if you've been following The Bearded Journey since it began back in August, that's right, August is when you were supposed to start. Right now that we are in the full month of November, you should be having a nice, glorious looking beard. Now with having a glorious looking beard, we have to worry about the lay and the length of the beard as we're going out to our peers and society. We want everything to look cohesive and generally in good shape. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is actually gonna be the length of your beard and what really suits you. Now I did a video just recently about what length is perfect for each individual for your beard and the lay of your beard. And this is important because certain people have different face shapes and beard shapes. So it's nice to really dial down what shape goes good and best with your face. So we want everything to look good from the beard to the head. That thing, everything's nice and even. So now that your beard is at full optimal length, we want to precisely make sure that the shape and the lay of our beards are in optimal position. So the first thing we wanna do, I'm going Dan C style. I got my nice hat for the new job that I got at Blue Box. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is getting really long, which is okay. But the problem that we're starting to have is right here for the sideburns. And that's where we're mainly gonna be talking about today's topic of the lay and length of our beard. And this happens around the sideburns right down into the jawline. Now for me, this is where the magic happens for that glorious epic beard that we all want. If we can have a nice fade to our hair, into our sideburns, right into our beard, we know that we are on point and in full swing. So to battle that, we're gonna start with the lay of our beard. Now for me, I like to have a nice shaped cheek line. I'll put down into the link the cut buddy that I use to shape my cheek line. And what we wanna do is with my sideburns that are growing out a little longer than I want them to be, we're going to control the lay of our beard with our brush or our comb. So for me, uh, as an example, my sideburns, and for a lot of you guys too as well who have thicker hair, we actually can have a cumbersome problem when we have too much sideburn and too much thickness as it grows over in layers over each other. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is right here on our sideburns, if it gets too thick, what happens is, is that our hair grows a little thicker and it's actually discombobulating the fade that's going into the head and into the beard. So for you guys that are like me, full-time job, you got the kids, the family, it's really tough to go to the barber, and unlike a lot of people that don't know how to clip their hair, it's tough to handle those few weeks where we're not able to trim, cut up, and fade our beard into our hair. So this is a great trick that I like to use is I'll get out my brush, my comb, whatever works for you, and in this area, instead of pulling down and rolling down into our beard, I actually wanna pull it to the side. And this is a new technique that I've been using but have always used as my hair gets longer. And this is creating a nice line off of our cheek. As we roll the hair back instead of down, we're actually separating that sideburn hair and letting it lay. So as we go down, it's going into the side, it's going into the side, it's going into the side, now we're going down. We have a nice fluid line motion going on right into our cheek. So that way it's reflecting from our cheek into our beard. And this is a great way in between those times we're on vacation, we're at work, or we really can't hit that barber or trim it up ourselves. These are great tricks and hacks to actually get bypassed that problem. So get yourself a good brush, which I'll put down into the description, and make sure that we're styling out the beard and the mustache the way it needs to lay for the length that it is. So to finish everything off, make sure you guys are using the proper products, the proper tools, and make sure you are grooming and paying attention to that beard and the length and the lay that it does. Anything that you guys need right now, Artius Man, they got a special code going on right now called Scott, that's right. 
Any of you, the fall seasons, they got the autumn spice going on. That is seasonal. All right, we've got Live Bearded. They've got a seasonal product going on too as well. So make sure you guys, if you can, not only support, but go down, try some new products, some new tools for that beard. So like always, you guys, like, subscribe, check me out on all that social media, hit that notification bell. I love you guys like always, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya! You stayed around till the end. So I'm gonna do a quick little recap of what I'm doing right now in my life. So about two months ago, I've been talking with a buddy on Facebook. We are training partners in Jiu Jitsu and they had a job opening doing HVAC cleaning. So for the past two months, I've been working at a new company called Blue Box. I'll actually put some B-roll up here where I'm actually cleaning big HVAC coils for big stadiums, big facilities, big commercial buildings. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to do as much as I can. I'm 33 years old, 34. I'm trying to do as much as I can, as often as I can, so I can meet, create, and do as much with my life as possible. And that's the whole reason for this channel is to be that renaissance man. So thanks for sticking around, you guys. Have a great day. Keep that beard growing. Work as hard as you can. I love you guys. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.